Hello Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here and welcome to a Jungle Rek'Sai video. Finally getting to it, got enough IP to buy Rek'Sai, so I figured why the heck not and we'll go ahead and pick her up and see what we can do on her. So, and it is her apparently, I kept calling Rek'Sai a dude for the first two days he was at, she was out. Excuse me, but uh, we'll just go over all of her abilities really quick just because she's a pretty complex champion in my opinion. Her Q, Queen's Wrath, slash Prey Seeker, Unburrowed form, next three basic attacks pretty much do a cleave to nearby enemies. And when she's burrowed, it launches a bolt of energy, I guess we'll say, and explodes on the first unit hit, dealing damage and revealing non-stealth enemies hit. Ooh, I didn't know that either, that's kinda cool. My W, Burrow, Unburrow, you toggle between burrowing under the ground or above the ground. When you're burrowed, you deal damage and knocking up okay cool so you pretty much unburrow yourself and knock up people and deal some damage to them a unit cannot be hit by unburrow more than once every 10 seconds that's good to know and when you're when you are burrowed you get new abilities bonus movement speed reduced vision range cannot basic auto attack and gain tremor sense nearby enemies that move in fog of war are positioned are revealed cool her E, Unburrowed, it does a bunch of damage based on your Fury you've charged up. If it's 100%, it does true damage. And when Burrowed, she leaves the tunnels that last 10 minutes, and you can teleport to... Well, one, you can take the tunnel, just the short range that it is, or you could teleport to it with your ultimate, and that's pretty much all your ult is. It's just strictly for the teleportation to any tunnel on the map, which is pretty awesome. So starting my Q here first, just because I believe it is the best ability to get. And then I'm going to take my W here, and while you are burrowed, you actually get healed for all the fury that you have. So it's a good way to stay healthy Oops, in between camps here. So that will be a red buff for me here. And I'm not sure, can you just spam it? Yeah, you can. Okay, so you can spam your burrow in between... Uh, auto attacks and it actually doesn't drop aggro of the monsters, which is pretty nifty. I won't lie. And now we're just going to consume all this fury, heal up a little bit. That's pretty awesome, I won't lie. And then you just, you know, chill and go <laughs> to the next camp here. But we'll go ahead and go straight to blue buff here, just because our smite's going to be back up, so we can pick that up without a problem here. Dang, they really do reduce that vision, they were not lying. I'm just going to smite it really early now, just because I want to get the smite on cooldown here. I'm not too afraid of anyone counter juggling me. So you can actually spam your burrow on camps just to continue to get that knock up, which I think is pretty awesome. Alright, I will go ahead and take my E here, just so we can get that and figure out what it does here. And we'll pop it on the wolves here and get them chomped up. Alright, cool. So there are the wolves, nice and easy. And we'll see if we can gank anywhere here. I'm a little low on health, so it's kind of risky, but I'm going to attempt to put a burrow over the wall here. So we can then transport to it. Oh, that's pretty cool, I won't lie. That's actually really easy to use as well. A lot easier than I thought it would be. If Riven goes up for the CS here, she's probably dead. She just queued and... God, I cannot see anything. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's actually incredibly hard to see, but I get what it means now by the uh, you detect motion. Alright, that's kind of cool. So, I'm going to actually take my tunnel back here and we'll go ahead and clear up a grump camp really quick. Just pop up. Wow, he actually ended up dying to that. That's kind of unfortunate, I won't lie. I wanted you to help me push. Oh, well, not gonna lie, you probably should have seen that I wasn't there, so. Kinda sucks, but yeah. We'll just say rip. Gonna go back burrow here, and we'll plop a little tunnel over the raids here. God, I actually really like that. That's so easy to use. It's pretty cool. Can I just chomp down on the minion here and hopefully not die to this actually? Alright. Easy enough. Whoa, didn't mean to take that. 
Okay. So I'm going to be maxing my Q here. I believe that's the best source of sustained AoE damage and clear, as well as just your brawling potential on Rek'Sai here. And I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna go for the warrior enchantment here. I do know Rek'Sai could be played pretty aggressively as far as damage goes, but uh, most people just get the warrior enchantment and then Hydra, I believe, and then they go tanky from there. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm probably gonna go with a locket here for my first defensive item, just because they have double AP with the Hamadinger and Karthus, and even Corky dealing some decent AP damage there as well. Alright, so right away, just gonna pop these golems here. I'm taking out the little one first, just because they do the same amount of damage, but don't have the same amount of health. Alright, we have two available. Okay, that's kind of cool. Good to know. Popping up. Oh, are they not spawned? That's my bad on that one. Alright, we will make a burrow here. We are behind the dinger donger. Can we go in is the question. Gonna knock him up here and we'll try and bite him. Oh, this should be a kill here. Nice. So pretty easy there. Just a clean chain CC is what we'll call it there on the hammer dinger. Good job, Victor. Still not too sure how my ganking potential is. I think it's pretty strong, but just from what I've seen, I'm, I'm still not really used to how strong I am right now. He's easy to show up, basically. All right, cool. So he's telling me, you know, the kid's pretty much free if you want to try and farm him, so we shall see. Just gonna clear out some chickens real quick. I'm gonna save my smite because red buff is up very shortly. All right. Got that, and then nice killing spree in the bot line already. Actually, that might be a double kill. Oh, the heal! One more, got him. Double kill. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so one thing I just noticed while I was walking to this camp actually was that your fury actually ticks down if you're sitting on burrowed. So you might as well go burrow and heal off of it if you're just going in between camps. Alright, gonna smite, stun up the camp here, and now we have our ultimate available, so that's nice. Boom, got the red buff, cool beans, cool beans. Gonna see if we can kill this kid here. Gonna burr up, take this, and let's do it. We'll see if we can snipe him here, we do snipe him. Oh, I almost flashed to try to knock him up there. But, uh, kinda glad I didn't. But we got his flash for free, so that's pretty good. I need to be placing more burrows. I'm not really doing that. So I definitely need to do that. That's one thing I can already tell that I'm missing out on. Alright. We will go ahead burrow. I want to place one here. Just so we have access to the blue buff. They're really great for escaping as well if you have them all over the map. So I need to just make sure I'm more prevalent with my placing of them. And there's blue buff. Awesome. Alright, we'll pop up. Gonna go ahead and do the grump and then probably head on home here. Alright, cool. So your burrowed and unburrowed Q do not share cooldowns, I believe, if I looked at that right. So it's good to know. Got the warrior enchantment though, so that's awesome. Gonna buy a vision ward as well as some pink wardage here. Teleport into this turret here, see if we can get behind him. Oops, I did that wrong. I'm just gonna straight up say I did that wrong, because I know I did that wrong. And he drops his turret and I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> I don't even want to deal with that. Oh, the cart is all coming in though. I didn't even get credit for that, damn. <laughs> he just straight up killed him. Oh, but that's Karthus, never mind. Hello, can I borrow please? Alright, I should be able to just walk it off. That's fine. Gonna go ahead and kill some chickens here. Gonna smite them up. Get healthy off that. Karthus still pushing. <laughs> Karthus help. The guy. I'm not sure if I can even go in on this. He doesn't have too much mana though, so... Maybe I could've. 
Alright, what do I want to max next? I'm pretty sure E would be good to max, but maybe your W actually. I'm not too sure. Alright, I'm just gonna heal up here and we'll see if we can force a dragon. I'm gonna plop a pink ward down here actually. Okay, there's a pink ward. Team is coming, so I'm thinking this is a free dragon. This might have actually. 15. Let my team know I actually don't have smite, so this is kind of risky, but I think we got it. Alright, free dragon. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We'll go ahead and go burrow mode here and see if we can get behind this Heimer Dinger. We do have Zed here. Can we hit him with the Q? Nope, we miss. Just gonna try and pop him up. There we go, he's popped up. Oh my goodness. Alright. I now see some damage potential here out of. Out of Rek'Sai. I dig it. I dig it. I'm gonna go ahead and go Burrow. We're gonna make some more caves here. I need to have some more aggressively positioned Burrows in their jungle as well for my ultimate, because that's all you use your ult for is getting places on the map, so I need to do that more often. Let's see. Let's go ahead and place some at his buffs here. I'm gonna take this. Cool beans. So I'm assuming that's the timer to when you can actually use the portal again. And we'll burrow and make... Oh, I think that's just telling me how many I have total. Okay, yeah. And you can have 10 total, I think? 8 tunnels. Never mind. I read that wrong. 8 tunnels that last 10 minutes. Okay. Good to know. So now we're actually just chilling in their jungle doing whatever we please here. Alright, gonna do a little counter jungle here, and then we will look to potentially go bottom here. I'm actually gonna make a cave behind them. Oh yeah, this is some kills right here, ladies and gentlemen. Got the burrow behind them. We have Alistair in the flank as well. They are more than likely gonna get clean up here. They might kill Bane, but we're gonna clean them up in the process of it. Alright, gonna... Oh, nice combo knock up there by Alistair and I. There's one. Let's go ahead and Burrow, pop up, oh, never mind. <laughs> didn't pop up, but that's a double kill. Pretty much free double kill for me. I didn't even have to work for that. So I'll take it. Those are the best kind of double kills. All right, pop and pop. Cool, so we're actually sitting on 1900 gold right now. We'll go ahead and pick up the Tiamat just perfectly. Beautiful. So I really combo well with my, ooh, we can actually, oh. Gotta keep reminding myself that. Let's see if we can get in here. Oh, I did it wrong again. I keep accidentally unburring myself when I shouldn't be. Alright, I'm just gonna flash, knock him up here, and combo with the Tiamat. Should be dead. There we go. Got him. Ooh. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. No thank you. And we'll go ahead and go to the chickens here. Smite him up. And gone. Very nice. Red buff's actually up. Probably should have smited that, but didn't have a. I didn't realize it was up. All right. Gonna make sure to use my TMA on this camp. Ooh, that damage is pretty nasty. Yeah, I'm actually gonna alternate my W and Q maxing because I think they're actually both relatively good spells to have. Gonna pop a burrow over here, just get my blue buff real quick. Very nice. Yep, pretty pretty safe clear actually on Rek'Sai. I have a lot of sustain with the ability to use your W to heal up after every camp. In my opinion, still a little broken in my eyes. I'm not too sure. I think she's pretty reliant on flash initiation if people see her coming, but if they don't, I think it's relatively just, she's got a lot going in her kit, which, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. Like right there, I probably should have walled over, and I would have been able to uh, close the distance quicker on the enemies there, but I just wasn't thinking about that. Is there a wrap? Nope. Alright, don't mind me, just gonna make a burrow to your golems and snatch them up here. Yeah, this champ's pretty strong in my opinion. Alright, six burrows up total. I'm going to make another one right here. It's just always good to have some deep burrows. They can't get cleared easily, but you can still utilize them pretty easily. 
going to shoot out my laser beam here with my Q. Alright, we'll come out and hit the turret up a little bit. Alright, got the turret, and we'll just go ahead and dip on out of here. Corky just stopped in. I really wanted to engage on that, I will not lie. But for now, I'm just going to take this portal. I believe that blue might be up. It is indeed, so I'm going to snag that really quick. Don't mind if I do. And my team might be getting engaged on here. And it looks like we are. So, going to go stealth mode here. Okay, it's not really stealth mode, but you know what I mean. Alright. Let's get in here. going to try and collapse on them here. Ooh, Corky's just chilling, actually. Gonna pop him up. There's one, and ooh, she just gets really hard engaged on, and we're all dead, actually, because Ribbon had flash, so. That was kind of sloppy. I'm not even too sure what to do in teamfights, to be honest with you. We shall see, but I'm gonna res and use my ult and see if we can pick someone off here. Like, I couldn't even tell you, honestly, if I misplayed that, which I feel like I did. I think I could have done a little bit more there. Alright, one's dragging out. Ten seconds, okay. Easy enough. I'm just gonna pop my ult here. We'll see if we catch anyone. In transition here. Gonna pop a pink ward. I'm just gonna wait for someone, see if they show up. Corky might face check this bush. Alright, it is a Thresh and a... Oh, I'm in. Where'd you go, team? Just kidding. I honestly thought they'd come, but I think they were doing dragon. So that's not really good. Damn, I just suicided for free. Wait, did I not use my Hydra? Oh, if I used my Hydra, I think I could have killed them there. That's kind of unfortunate. But it looks like we... <laughs> Not what I meant, right? Yeah, I guess I mis misread what you wanted to do there. So, that's my B. Alistair is currently trying to solo the dragon. Not gonna really work out for you. Alright, but I have all my damage items that I want this game. And now we're pretty much gonna go full on tank here, so. Hopefully we can beef up and do some more in team fights. Alright, they really want to do dragon, so I'll just go ahead and rotate over there. And I do have my smite, so this should be free for our second dragon. Yeah, we have really good ward coverage on it, actually, so... Yeah, really easy dragon. Boom! Got in there with the smite. Wasn't even good, though. <laughs> Alright, Hymenair might be in a little pickle here. I won't lie. I'm gonna try and make a wall over here. Alright, I know someone's right there. It's kind of... You can almost bait yourself as Rek'Sai, just because you can't exactly make out whose footprints are whose when you see them like this. But I know that is a Thresh, and that is going to be a dead Thresh, I believe, here. Going to Q him here, and we'll see if we can pop him up. Oh, that's a Karthus. Alright, well, I almost died here. I am dead here, actually. Gotta pop him. Okay, never mind. Rip. Okay, okay. He gets the trade kill there. Karthus did flash in on me as well, so everybody and their mother flashing in on me. Hmm. Like, kind of what I was exactly saying right there. I went in and you, you just can't see anything when you're burrowed, so... It's definitely a high-risk, high-reward kind of ability, in my opinion. Just because the knockup you get is really, really easy to hit, and it's on such a short cooldown. But at the same time, you have very, very limited vision. So I kind of like that aspect of it. I'm actually just going to teleport here so I can help out the team. I do like that it pings. I never noticed it pings for you wherever you go, no matter what. I feel like I'm dead here. God dang it. I just... <laughs> I think I've rezzed and died four times in like four minutes, which really sucks. Oh, man's dead too. Man, we all are just dying. Triple kill. Damn, she. Okay, she's kind of fed. Kind of scary, I won't mind. Maybe I have to build some armor in this game instead. How's everyone else doing on their team? 5 and 3 Karthus. Hamdanger's kind of shut down. Eh, 
I'll still go with the locket just because it still provides some armor, armor even though it's minimal, but some is better than none. Victor, he can go ahead and get his blue buff here. I'll give it to him. Or Zed, whoever wants it. Because personally, I don't really need it. Damn, I need to get some levels on me too. I was doing really well and then I just died a lot. Alright, let's get some tunnels going as well. Gonna tunnel over to their chickens. Not there. Place a ward. It's actually really risky being in this form. Alright, I'm on a ward. No, I'm not. Okay. Guess his spidey senses were just tingling there. I'm gonna get a deep ward here, and I'm gonna create a wall for an escape, just in case. And I think you can actually, as an ally, teleport. Ooh, he messed that up. He should have committed for one more spell. But I think you can actually teleport to Rek'Sai's tunnels, which is really, really OP in my opinion. Because then you could have Rek'Sai and a teleport flying in out of nowhere. That was a pretty aggressive teleport out of the what's his face. Oh, I want it. All right, we'll go ahead and knock up some people here. Thresh should be dead. And Karthus did just get clipped on the end of that. Very nice. He's going to alt here. Kind of hurts, but nothing we can't handle. And that should be a mid turret for us here. Very nice. Whoa, this kid just Valk's in. I'm going to go ahead and knock him up right away. That was suicide. And I think Riven dies here as well. Nice, I pick up Riven with a Q there in bird form. And right when... Oh, that's an ace. Nice. That quirky YOLO valked in and I just bird and popped him up. So that was really, really ill out of that quirky. I'm just going to make a tunnel here. I was lying in this game. Uh, I'm going to take their blue buff. Oh, it is up. Nice. So free blue for me. And I'm not going to smite it. I'm going to hold on to smite. Just in case Baron or Dragon come into play, I'm gonna kill this pink ward. I feel like there's some, uh, some flame going on on their team. <laughs> They're definitely flaming each other here, which is unfortunate, because flame is lame. Get over here. Okay, so that Q does surprisingly very, very little damage in bar form. Okay, because it's off of AP. That makes sense. Good note. I think Heimerdinger is just... Ooh, Zonius, never mind. YOLO Valken again, gonna knock him up. There's a kill for me. Thank you. Gonna burrow again and make another tunnel. I think, yeah, Riven's coming in from the side here. Can I fight you, 1v1? You hurt. Get out of here! Alright, Thresh. Ooh, I almost got clipped by that. But uh, he's, he's gonna walk away, actually. I don't wanna die here. Get me out of here! Ooh, Thresh actually died. Nice. Well played team. You guys better surrender. I just hit my mid game spike. Alright, lock it. There you are. We'll go ahead and buy the Aegis and a Ruby Crystal here. Yo, we're doing it. I'm just gonna teleport in and <laughs> we'll teleport out. Ooh, the yellow Valk. Get baited. I just wanted to honestly get back here right away after buying. I think that, God, that's so, mm, I don't know, man. I feel like that's so strong. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the dragon real quick, get the third one of the game for the team. Bonus movement speed is bueno. All right, it's on that smite, but it's pretty much free. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and get some life back here from Burrow. There's a champion. Okay. Your Q actually... Damn, that's a far skill shot, man. I wonder if AP or X has a thing. Even though literally his Q in Burrow form is the only thing that scales with it. still think that's a possibility. You never know. Just creating some escapes for me here. You. Damn, that range is actually really funny. Yeah, I feel like Rek'Sai is actually pretty easily kiteable. 
if you see him coming. But if you don't see him, he's more than likely going to get on top of you and knock you out. Just because he has the tunnel access and increased movement speed as well. What are we doing as a team? I don't even know what we're doing. I guess we'll force Baron here. But the score is 34 to 16. I'm 7 4 5. Definitely could be probably 7 2 and 5. Two of my deaths were pretty underwhelming, I will not lie. But I'm feeling like this is a pretty free Baron here. Ouch. That hurt. Hopefully, Carthus doesn't all. We could all die right now. Which would be hilarious, yet saddening at the same time. Alright. We're going in. We're going in for the Danger Donger. I want to see if we can get him here. He'll probably kill me, to be honest. Okay, that's a. I didn't even notice the turret was still alive. That's my bad on that one. But I'll live. And it looks like my team just did some crazy fighting. Did we win? Two for three. Okay, four for two, rather. So yeah, we indeed did win. And I'm just going to go middle. I'm thinking however is going to defend this, but maybe we can fight him up. Yeah, Zed's coming here as well. Maybe we get a turret. He wants to dive. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to dive that, honestly. I'm just going to leave. Come, flat Alright, they're Gromps up. I'm gonna try to get full health off of that, and then probably look to take the spot turret, actually. Gonna smite, pop the Hydra, there we go. Wow, he killed Corky again. This Zed's actually massive. Oh, he's dead, though. Alright, yeah, he's dead. I was actually gonna be surprised if he lived from that. Alright. Cool, so I should be able to just take this turret for free. What are Okay, never mind. They're just They're just winning. That's what my team's doing. They're just winning, man. Riven's bottom. I'm kind of curious to see if I can 1v1 her. I'm not too sure how this champion does in 1v1s, honestly. I feel like she's gonna win. Just because she actually my ult doesn't give me any combat fighting abilities. So I feel like just for her having an extra all on me would allow her to uh, actually win that 1v1. Eh, we'll just end here. Looks like she's going to stay bottom, so pretty much a free turret for us, hopefully. Hit it. Alright, cool. Minion's got it. I'm just going to create a burrow. Wow. Vayne solo driven 100% health. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can get in here. I want to flash initiate on someone before the game ends, just to see how a optimal initiation would be. Oh, I really want to go. Alright, we have that here. I'll do it. Oh, that is actually ridiculous. And we're going to live, I think. No, we're not. We're dead. <laughs> Cart this all. That actually was so smooth, though. I really like that. Oh. He dove found and died. <laughs> Alright. Not bad though, not bad. I can dig it. So, I'm gonna say he's super reliant on flash initiations when seen. Just because if you're trying to siege up, I think, in my opinion, he's actually really bad for sieging, but he's really good at tower diving if you have flash up. She. I've been calling him he. God dang it. She. My bad. Someone's going to yell at me in the comments for that, and I'm already sorry. But yeah, I think she's got incredible dive potential. And one thing I did notice, one of the most broken combos in my opinion, was Rek'Sai Yasuo. Just her ability to have... Ooh, I almost wanted to take that. Her ability to knock up people almost whenever she wants just synergizes incredibly well with Yasuo. Am I on a word? Nope. I want to try and get in here and pop pop someone here. Alright, we'll go in for the Heimerdinger here. He does get slowed, so I'm going to go straight for the... Oh, I didn't hit it. Heimerdinger just got 100% at that, let me tell you. No! My burrow's not up. This is awkward. Why am I alive? 
Oh, I thought my burrow was gonna be back up. I was gonna just go over the wall. Rip. Zed should be able to clean this up then. There's one. What? Oh my god. I just realized I didn't pop lock it. Maybe if I pop lock it, I could have actually survived there. What the? That card this or that Alistair does a lot of damage. So your ultimate cooldown pretty much you could use it, do a team fight back and then use it again, so that's a really, really short cooldown on that. We'll go ahead and buy the cloth armor here. Yeah, I think we should just end the game, honestly. One sec. Alright, I'll just tunnel, I'll tunnel and we'll end the game here. I was gonna go top and get that farm, but I don't know, just end the game. Oh, nice. That was a really good combo out of that Alistair there. Oh, she's still alive. Alright, we'll just get the turret here. That was almost really nice. Almost really nice. Can we end the game, though? I really just want to end. Wow, that mobility is actually incredible. If you already have a tunnel up, and you have your tunnel available, you can get over so much distance with such ease. That's incredible. That's actually hilarious, man. It's so easy to move around if you have tunnels available. Alright, she's gonna come to me. I'm gonna pop her up here. I'll just kill the Thresh. He's in my way. I'm gonna pop my locket as well, give us some shieldage. And that's gonna be some good kills here. I did it again. Accidentally unburrowed when I wanted to be burrowed. Pew! No, I hit a turret. Alright. I'm thinking that's the game. Yep. They don't have any turrets up, so we finally ended the game. Stalled out a little little long in my opinion, but it's all good. So overall I went eight, six, and nine. Not a bad game. Definitely finally learned more about what she offers. And in my opinion overall, I'd probably give her a B as a champion overall. She's Got incredibly safe jungle clear. Decent at ganking. I think the only thing she's lacking is a really, really hard engage when she's seen. So you're probably gonna have to synergize well with other hard engage champions, such as, you know, we had Alistair in there as well. But if you're the only engage on your team, I think you might actually have a hard time closing out the game. But overall, I think she's a pretty strong champion. And as always, guys, if you like the video, go ahead and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, as well as Facebook, and Runes and Meshes in the info box below. And as always, guys, I will see you all next time.